Hi YouTube, Roy Marco with Marco Custom Models. Uh, coming to you with a 1963 Impala that I'm turning into uh, Junior Johnson's uh, number three race car, um, which had an interesting mystery engine in it that was uh, not uh, produced for sale in, in the general market. Sort of, um, it looks like a 454, but it was back when they had the 409, so it was like early development of it. And it had a big bore and a short stroke, and it was uh, a pretty unstoppable engine, according to uh, some of the things I've seen on it on the internet. And this car caught my attention um, just because I, I think it looks cool. It was one of the first uh, cars, actually the first car that was built with the long trailing arm rear suspension in it. And uh, it's a white number three car and um, raced by Junior Johnson back in, in uh, the year, you know, 63. So uh, the few things that are interesting about this model is it's the, the 63 model is a, is a pretty basic undercarriage. So I've used the chassis out of a 62 uh, AMT here. And uh, this was one that I picked up that was in a bag and somebody had painted it. You can see it's kind of orange peely but it could be brought back anyway i ended up cutting the inner fender wells out of here and using them in here and stuff like that and i'll get to that so um i had uh put in this uh rear trailing arm suspension from a 62 uh chevy truck model kit or no 1960 amt 1960 um chevy truck it has uh rear suspension that glues in Unlike the 72 Chevy truck where it's all molded in, kind of like the way the 63 chassis is. So I still have a little bit of work to do and I have the pan hard bar set up to build. But um, anyway, I got that in place and uh, I still have the front suspension to do. Again, this was a painted chassis that came out of that kit. And the wheels came from Mike's Decals and I ordered these are 1963 NASCAR wheels. And just beautiful detail on these. And I ordered the correct tires. So with that I was able to kind of make the uh the stance and get everything right on the on the body to the chassis and kind of get the right look and now i start uh, i'll start adding details to it i still have to find a decal package um last i looked on the website they were sold out i think uh, fred caddy makes the the decal set for him um anyway so eventually i gotta find a set of the decals but uh anyway so i used also the the 62 interior tub and that 62 interior tub uh, doesn't have a back seat like you can glue it in separately so this allows me to uh, leave it you know without a seat I can do a little the roll bar and the uh, single driver seat that's in the car and what I had to do was I had to glue these um, uh, inner fenders in because in this model kit the inner fenders come as part of the chassis and so I had to build this with the rad support and everything like that so now I'll have to dip this and take all the paint off. <laughs> it's kind of a backwards process, but anyway, it'll all work out and then um, and then blow some paint on it. It'll look really good. So that's how that worked out. And uh, the old chassis that came out of here didn't go to waste because that chassis went into, just to show you how things happen in the modeling world for me anyway, is uh, I got a resin body of this 59 Buick four-door and you might have seen that a while back when I uh, uh, picked up a model haul, I think, or was at the model contest uh, two years ago. And uh, anyway, um, it's just a resin. The hood doesn't open. I still got to find bumpers and stuff. And it had a chunk missing out of here, so I glued in another piece of resin. Now I have to bodywork this, but at least that's that's the start process of that. Anyway, the chassis from that car came with an engine plate that glues in, and you don't have to build an engine, so you can just put that in and make it happen but the chassis was too short so I had to lengthen it so I did that by just gluing in a piece of styrene there and um, I added this little center piece to help brace it and that's nice and strong and the firewall from the kit I uh, or not the firewall the front rad support sorry I uh, used the old style screws and held it in that way and um, just yeah so it looks good when you turn it over and so this is a car that's just add some pieces to it here and there but anyway i just wanted to touch base on it during this video to show you that uh 
none of my stuff goes to waste. It kind of goes somewhere or to something else. So anyway, if you like, please subscribe and uh, have a great day.